In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make complex shapes using the Pathfinder tools. Um, in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to make complex shapes using the pen tool, which is right here, but um, that is great in for some situations, but then there are some situations when you do want to use um, the complex, the, the Pathfinder tools to create complex shapes. Such as when you're um, using like simple shapes to, and you just want to combine, like alter them so that they are, um, you know, you can combine them or crop them or different. Um, there's different settings which I'll show you in a minute, but that's when you'd want to use the Pathfinder tools. So, like I said, the Pathfinder tools, they, you really want to use them when you already have pre made tools so, or pre made shapes. So, like, I'll create a rectangle and a circle there we go now um, so I already have two like pre-made simple shapes and I wanna alter them um, to make like com like one complex shape then I can use the Pathfinder tools now, to access the Pathfinder tools you go to window and you go to Pathfinder which is down here under P and then this will show up. Um, there's two different modes. There's the shape modes and the pathfinders. And they all serve their individual purpose. Um, they're all just different settings to what to, to do with the shapes. Now, to actually start altering the shapes, you have to highlight both of them. And like I did in the previous tutorial, there's multiple ways to do that. I'll just, highlight, I'll just drag. And now you can see they're both selected. And now I'll show you what the different settings do. So the first one is the Unite option. And that is when you just want to combine your two shapes into one big shape. So, um, as you can see, they're two different shapes, the circle and the rectangle. But if you press the Unite tool, it combines them into one big shape that's all one path. Um, as you can see by the anchors, it's just one big path and you can't separate them now. Um... The next tool I'll show you, or the next um, mode, is the minus front. Now, the minus front, it kind of does what it says. It subtracts the, the shape that is in front from the shape that is in the back. So right now, the circle is in front of the rectangle. So if you press minus front, it erases whatever, um, whatever part of the rectangle that's behind the circle. So since the circle is in front, it erased that from the rectangle, and now um, the rectangle is just whatever is left. So you can see this part it was erased. Um, the next tool is the intersect. Now I'll show you what it does, and then I'll kind of explain afterwards. So if you click it, it erases the part of the shapes that are overlapping. So you can see there's the circle here, the rectangle here, and then there's this interlapping section in the middle. If you So you press that, the intersect tool, and it erases everything except what is overlapping. So it erases this part and this part, but it keeps this middle part. I'll show you again. It just keeps that middle part. Now, um, the last tool that is in the shape mode section is called exclude. Now, at the exact opposite is intersect. It is. I'll show you. And you click on it. It sub. It just. Um. It just takes away that part that is. Um. You know that was that was overlapping. So now it's just one big shape. X and this part. It's not just white. It's not there anymore. Just one big shape that is missing this the center part the overlapping part. Alright. Th that's all for the shape modes. Now for the pathfinders, there are some that are really similar to the shape modes, but um, it depends on like how many shapes you have when you'd want to use the pathfinders or the shape modes. So the first one is called divide, which it kind of is what it sounds like. If you click it, it, div it doesn't look like it does anything, but it actually divides the sh the two shapes into th into sections. So, um, if you see, there's three different sections now. There's this section, 
there's the the section of the circle and then there's this middle section right here too um, so it divides it into what can be seen so if you go back you can see that when you highlight them all that there's three different sections again this section this section and this section but when you press that divide pathfinder it just separates them all the next pathfinder tool is the trim tool which um, it's kind of hard to see what it does, but it just kind of trims like it, it trims what it, you can't see. So you can see that it's kind of like the um, sorry, it's kind of like the what's it called the like the minus front, except it keeps the front and just minuses what's behind it. So as you can see that the circle is in front of the of the of the rectangle and it minuses this middle section and keeps what's left I'll show you again trim it trims but can't be seen so you have so you can see this part and you can see the circle but you couldn't see what's underneath it and it just gets rid of it kind of simplifies it Alright, the next tool is the merge tool. Now, the merge is pretty, it's just, it's identical to the unite tool, which is in the shape mode. So, I'll show you. Merge, it's just one big shape now. Nothing that you can really do with it. Just one big um, shape that can't be separated. It's just all the, it's just one path. Another one is crop which um, it's kind of hard to explain what it does is it takes the object that's in front again which is the circle and it uses it a cropping box to crop whatever is inside of it so if you see as you can see it's just this middle section is inside of it and so that's it crops everything that's outside of it out and just gets rid of that and keeps what is ever inside. So, so you can crop. This is the part that's left inside of that underneath shape, which is the rectangle, and just keeps that part. And then there is outline, which um, what it does is it might look like it doesn't do anything except you know get rid of the fill, but it actually segments each shape into different parts. So you can go. It's all grouped together right now, but you can ungroup it by pressing Command Shift G or right clicking, and um, I it would say ungroup, but I just already ungrouped it and clicking that. Um, and then you uh, you can see that each part is a different like like it's segmented out into individual outlines. So you can drag everything apart, take everything apart. Let's take put it back again. And now the last one is the minus back. And if you remember, there's the second shape mode is minus front. This does the exact opposite. It um, subtracts the back shape from the front one. So you click it, you can see that that back rectangle is subtracted from the front tool. Front shape, I mean. Um, and that's really all there is to the Pathfinder, just one way to make complex shapes. Um, it's kind of cool. Thanks for watching.